everyone, this is The Last Word and I'm Maria Shaquille. A seven-judge bench of the Supreme Court is hearing a case on whether there can be sub-categorization among SCSTs. Meaning, should those who have benefited from quota be excluded to ensure only those who really need affirmative action get their due? Day one saw the Supreme Court state that the castes which have progressed by benefiting from reservation should compete with the general category and make way for those who are lagging behind. Justice Gawai also raised the point, and I'm quoting him, a person from the SCST community, after getting into central services like the IAS and IPS, gets access to best of facilities. Yet, his children and their children continue to get benefits from reservation. Should this continue? He went on to add that this was an issue for the, for, for the Parliament of India to decide. The bench led by CJI D.Y. Chandrachur also includes Justices B.R. Gawai, who is slated to become the Chief Justice later this year, Justice Vikram Nath, Bela Trivedi, Justice uh, Pankaj Mithal, Justice Manoj Mishra, and Justice Satish Chandra Sharma. So we ask on the show, is it time to redefine quota? Joining me on the show, Geeta Luthra, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court. K. Mahesh is an IS officer. He's also Special Director, Union Territory Civil Services. He's a member of the IES Association. We also have Yashwardhan Azad, former IPS officer. Saurav Pandey, who is a UPSC aspirant, joining me in just a bit. Babita Bhartia is also, again, a an aspirant of the civil services. She'll join me in the bit, in a bit, but Dilip is, uh, is, is with us. He's also a UPSC aspirant. He, in fact, uh, gave the exams this year. Dilip, before I you know, get the other stakeholders, I want to understand from you. As someone who is an aspirant, how do you look at this observation of the Supreme Court? Yes, we should welcome this observation. I hope government of India will take uh, these steps forward because uh, it is not within the purview of the judiciary to include any community or, or else to subcategorize uh, among the caste. So uh, among the scheduled caste also, we have, uh, uh, you know, there is a problem. Uh, like uh, the weakest out of the week should get the uh, reservation. So... Yeah, in this way, uh, definitely this is a good move. I hope government of India will take this step forward and uh, they will take further action. You know, because this is not an order. This is an ongoing uh, uh, hearing which is happening. And th the court has made this observation. In fact, the bench, a judge on that bench has made this observation. And that is Justice Gawai. Uh, the question before the court, Geeta Luthra, is very clear. We know about it. My question is that the purpose of reservation has always been about understanding where we go wrong in terms of ensuring that social injustices are corrected. But if uh, someone from SCST community becomes a civil servant, IES or IPS, and does it really mean that the injustices are corrected only with that elevation and the similar injustices will not be faced by the generations which follow him or her? I, I think Question. the okay, uh, okay. whole rationale behind reservation is that you give equal opportunity and therefore there should be affirmative action. To my mind, the moment that someone has reached the creamier service, which is the one of the IAS or allied services, you are already right up there. And therefore, uh, oh. I don't think you need reservation. Reservation is for those who are underprivileged and need affirmative action. Of course, it'll be a big exercise then to see that you re remove the reservation from the creamy layer. But just look at some of our greatest political leaders who have emerged from various parts of India 
including a next speaker, including many such people. Hmm. Now they have gone much beyond the levels which even a person who is a non-scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, or the privileges, or the benefits, or the equality which a non-scheduled caste, scheduled pers- person may have. Now, question, of course, is the exercise becomes very large. But you can't be giving preferential treatment to those who have, in that sense, uh, got access to everything, to the best of facilities, to the best of education. That is not what is the idea of reservation. Reservation is for affirmative action. So those who have progressed beyond it, I think, but we have to look at the the mechanism. Yes, ma'am. So so the question... So the question is, should the powerful or the influential be excluded from the quota list? If we were to just sum it up the way it is, it is progressing right. in, the, in the court in terms of the observations right now. Uh, as a stakeholder, as a member of uh, you know, IS of, uh, Officers Association, uh, Mr. Mahesh, uh, what's your view on this? Uh, ma'am, thank you very much uh, for having me. I am the Honorary President of the Delhi Administration Officers Academic Forum. And uh, I would like to say that, look, uh, the founding fathers of our constitution had a great constitutional vision who were committed to social justice, equality and dignity. And there was a large section in the Indian society who were barricaded in having access to education. So they were given reservation, affirmative action. That is very, very essential. So it was not a charity to have reservation. It is a duty which has been cast and we have to continue with it. But if you look at the development, the social economic development of the country, you find certainly that it has made a dent and there is a microscopic minority amongst the SCST who have attained some level of affluence. And if they have attained a level of affluence, I am sh- I, I, and I am of the view that they must certainly be excluded okay. and there must be a creamy layer like the OBC. We must have that layer, uh, the, the kind of exclusion like the OBC you have. That is very, very important. I am for reservation, but with honesty. That is okay. very, very important. Okay. And if we have this creamy layer within the SEST, it shall promote greater equity, distributive justice, and this will have much better kind of uh, an impact yes, on the society. The aim is certainly but just to have a by very reservation. Idealistic and utopian. It, it is a very utopian idea at the moment. Bold, many would say. Uh, the idea is to have end that disparity in access of resources and opportunities. And there is this assumption that if uh, the parents are in the civil services, the children and, and those after that, so generations should not be benefiting, that, that uh, you know, benefit of reservation should perhaps stop at that very level. Saurav, what are your thoughts as a UPSC aspirant? See, first of all, I represent the educated but unemployed youth hmm. who needs jobs, who needs opportunities. But you know what the problem is? The problem is that today when a political party is discussing about Mandal, other political party is discussing about Kamandal. And here we sitting today at a debate are trying to strengthen their agenda. My question is, when are we going to discuss on unemployment? My question is, when are we going to equally discuss on suicides that is being increasing? When I see today around myself, I could see very handful of organizations who is actually talking about us. And I myself, a 21 year old, the youngest one sitting on this panel can say, that very handful of people are trying to raise our issues to the core. Sort of, we, only that. yesterday we, to, we spoke about, uh, uh, you know, the anti-cheating bill. We debated on this. And as far as the suicides, the unfortunate suicides which are happening, we have uh, taken that issue up on NDTV multiple times. So let me bring you back on the issue that I have asked, exactly. which is essentially exactly. to do with what Justice Gawai has said exactly. uh, in his observation. Are you of the opinion that since you're competing for those very limited seats, 
uh, those who are sons and daughters of civil servants uh, should be you know competing in the general category and should not get the benefits of reservation that's my question to you exactly i, I was about to address this uh, let's let's uh, assume a situation if somebody is selected as an ias or an ips officer then his children and his ward would be eligible for the public services and sectors at least after 20 years and in these 20 years his children were imparted the best quality of education his children stayed in the best societies in the country <laughs> then do anybody think that those students who were getting the best facilities in the country are in comparison to those people who are not getting those facilities can be uh, taken at the same par level and the answer is no and therefore i would like to again say that reservation which was brought as a solution for disparity again mm -hmm. becomes a tool for disparity because then those people become a hindrance and a barrier for mm -hmm. their own communities okay. and today when i see i think i, th I yeah. think that's that's very well put that these people who were supposed to be uh, you know ensuring that they 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 become part of a system which will become just actually become participants in what will be seen as unjust but yashwardhan azad the counter argument can be that this is about correcting social injustices and social injustices do not get corrected even if you uh, have all the economic uh, support and benefits so the argument will be that why should sons and daughters of uh, civil servants not be given reservation then how far can we go maria i mean 20 years is enough of a time to give an opportunity to compete for the best given all the facilities and given all the uh, you have so uh, i would totally completely agree with uh, justice gavai that uh, all ias and ips uh, kids should be absolutely junk from any kind of uh, uh, this uh, reservation facility Uh, we can't carry this on and on and on hmm. there is there is there has to be a sub category uh, within the sc group i totally agree with it there's no doubt about it but once you have achieved that level i mean look at upsc look at any other place i think uh, all all why ias and ips if you justices and, and this category of people who are there their kids should be barred from uh, using reservation anywhere Okay, so you are of the opinion that they should be barred. What about uh, uh, Babita Bhartia, an another aspirant of civil services? What are your views of Babita? You have to unmute yourself. You have to unmute yourself, Babita. सबसे पहले तो मैम थैंक यू आपका आपने ये एक अच्छा डिबेट जो आप लेके आए इस प्लेटफॉर्म पर और सबसे पहले मैं रिजर्वेशन के बारे में बात करना चाहूंगी कि रिजर्वेशन के जो बेसिक्स थे वो सबसे पहले ये है कि सोशल और एजुकेशनल बैकवर्डनेस तो कोई भी अगर कैटेगरी जो है ये जो रिजर्वेशन है वो 20 इयर्स के लिए या 15 इयर्स के लिए हुआ था लेकिन अब जो भी आई एस या आई में जो सिलेक्ट हो जाता है वो सोशली भी बैकवर्ड नहीं रहता है और एजुकेशनली बैकवर्ड नहीं रहता है तो ओबीसी के अंदर क्रिमिलेयर तो ऑलरेडी है ही ऐसे ही जो एस सी है उसमें क्रिमिलेयर नहीं है उसमें अगर आईपीएस और आईएएस के कोई अगर पेरेंट्स बन जाते हैं तो उनको ये बच्चों को आप ये सही है कि उसको रिजर्वेशन देना उतना जायज नहीं है उसका फायदा जो है वो अन्य कैटेगरी को दिया जा सकता है बट 20 इयर्स के बाद भी जो रिजर्वेशन को अगर हम देखें कि फोर पिलर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी जो है उसमें सभी का एस सी का और ओबीसी का जो पार्टिसिपेशन है वो कितना है अभी पीछे जैसे रिपोर्ट आई थी कि जो ट्वेंटी जो ओबीसी है उसके सेक्रेटरी जो है ओनली तीन सेक्रेटरी है एटी सेक्रेटरी में से ऐसे ही जो एस और एस है उसके जो जो बड़े जो लेवल है सेक्रेटरी है या प्रोफे जो दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में जो प्रोफेसर हैं या कमिश्नर हैं या चीफ सेक्रेटरी हैं वो कितने हैं तो इन सब का भी एक मतलब कैलकुलेशन लगा के इस तरह से अगर उनको अगर वो सही पार्टिसिपेशन अगर उनका हो गया है तो जो बेनिफिटेड हो चुके हैं रिजर्वेशन से हम उनको बाहर कर सकते हैं लेकिन सबसे पहले कि उसका एक कैलकुलेशन करना होगा कि हमने जो रिजर्वेशन दिया उसका फायदा जो है वो कितनों को पहुंचा है और कितने लोग वहां से जो है वो अपर लेवल पर वहां पहुंचे ओके सो सो द आइडिया इज दैट हाउ एफिशिएंट इज द सिस्टम टू एंश्योर इक्वालिटी गीता लूथरा 
uh, I believe that those who have entered into a creamy layer hmm. keep reaping the benefits. So if you do a study, you will see that even from scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, <coughs> it will be a top 10% of those scheduled caste, scheduled tribes who keep reaping the benefit of government jobs, of government placements. And therefore, if you take them out of this layer and let the rest of the 90% of scheduled caste, scheduled tribe reap the benefit, ultimately what is the end result is you want merit and you want equal opportunity. So all people who are meritorious get hmm. equal opportunity to come up and excel. Hmm. Now, the moment that these people have had opportunity, then the question is, should you not take away, take this reservation to those who have come from villages, those who have not had the benefits and therefore give them opportunities for jobs, for education, so that they can excel. Now, of course, it's a gargantuan task. It's huge. And it will throw open the entire issue. But the question of this, this, this desire for subclassification, which has already been struck down in Chennai, I think is the gen judgment. That's right. Uh, I, I don't think classification, <laughs> subclassification should be allowed at all. And I think this subclassification is extremely hitting at the very purpose of reservation. Okay. This, so reservation was supposed to be initially for 20 years and it's gone on being extended because you realize that you have still not given equal opportunity. But if you keep giving the same creamy layer of those who've had the opportunity in this reservation to keep getting reservation, then you're not opening your uh, opening the window. You are actually not giving access to all, which yes. is what and, you want to do. And, and, and the very purpose of reservation then gets defeated. If uh, right. it is not mm -hmm. moving beyond Madam, the creamy layer, stays in that space repeatedly. Yes, you wanted to come in. Go ahead, Mr. Mahesh. Yes, ma'am. First of all, let me correct uh, Geeta, Geeta, madam. First of all, there was no timeline of 20 years for reservation for SCST. I'm sorry. There's no timeline. The timeline was initially, it was for the political reservation in the parliament and the legislative assembly for 10 years. It was not for reservations in jobs and co uh, uh, and the educational institution. That is point number one. Point number two, the, uh, there's another lady who made a very uh, valid point that, look, we must see how many secretaries in the government of India, how many chief secretaries, how many important positions are being held by those from the marginalized section. And she says the number is small. But you see, the reason for this is that the entry level, the age at which our officers enter, the marginalized section officers enter, is higher. So that is what impacts their growth to become secretaries and chief secretary. So if you join at a very at a, at a, at a younger age, mm. then your chances of reaching that level is high. So this point is very important, which must be noted. But let me tell you, it's not nurture, it is, it is nature, it is nurture, not nature, which leads to success in life. There have been SCSTs who have qualified in the general list. They have topped the IS exam. There was a girl who topped recently and there was a, another boy from Rajasthan who topped in the general list. Hmm. So there have been cases of a lot of talent amongst the socially marginalized, but they come from economically weaker sections. Yes. So that gives, that suggests that those who are well-to-do needs to be yes, excluded. Absolutely. It does not mean the that the beneficiary the, the beneficiary, the benefits should not go to the the weaker section. The benefits will go. It will go and we will address the issues in a far more equitous manner with greater distributive justice. Yes. But let me say that because it does of not the challenges. mean that once you have become an IS or... 
the, because yes. there are challenges no, no, the other point that is very has important. to be addressed no, in the, the sense the other point. that those who have not benefited from a quota at all till now and if they are on the margins, if they have not uh, you know, reached that basic level of equality, then they should be given that benefits so that this is about redistribution of quota then. Yashwardhan Azad, the reason to no, madam, revisit the, madam, and, just, and just reimagine. Just the last point, just the okay, last sir, point, madam. Go ahead. Madam, the last point, mm -hmm. madam, madam, very important. You yeah. see, the point is that you can effectively implement reservations and affirmative action until unless you don't have a until unless we don't have high levels of education attainment amongst the marginalized section it's okay. like putting the cart before the horse okay so therefore a inclusive education in a non-discriminatory manner and the most important thing let me emphasize is the issue of fraternity which is there in our preamble that is the most yes. important yes value please come in on this social discrimination the, the, the larger thank question you. is do you can think there is a need to talk, Mr. Yes. thank you you know, obviously, it's a political move to deny those who have been reaping benefits years over years uh, in the SC category. And uh, that is why nothing has been done about it. But time has come today to, 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 to very, very objectively think about what Justice Gawai has said. Hmm. That people who have made it, people who have reaped the benefits, people who, most importantly, people who are in a position to afford the opportunities and the facilities which can be given to their children to compete at the best levels. Hmm. They should not be uh, given the quota uh, service again and again. Otherwise, we are playing havoc with the merit system also. Since we are keeping both merit in mind and also reservation, which are both very, very important, we have time has come today that we should listen to Justice Gawai and completely reject the system of continuing reservation for the IAS and IT skits. Okay, uh, so I have uh, 30 seconds each for Dilip, Babita and Saurav. Yes, I am going to begin with you, Dilip. Ma'am, we should not limit our debate only whether to exclude IAS officers and IPS officers or not. Second thing, I would like to uh, correct uh, Geeta uh, Lutra, ma'am, uh, with all uh, due respect, because the Chinaya judgment was overruled by the five judge bench, which was led by Justice Arun Mishra. That's why uh, now uh, this matter has been referred to the seven judge bench. Judge so bench. second thing, second thing, yeah, second thing, uh, uh, we, we are talking about whether to exclude IAS or IPS. Why are we not talking about caste census? Because without caste census, you, you will not have the figures. Without uh, figures, how come you make reservation policy effective? <laughs> so in order to, if our intent is, to make our reservation policy more effective. So we need to do caste census first. Later, we need to subcategorize. Mm. Only then, the lowest of the lowest person will get the due share. So uh, finally, I would like to end with uh, Justice Krishna here uh, observation. Mm. So he made that the lowliest of the lowliest should get the due share. So the uh, Supreme Court of India always, always uh, it gave uh, the ball to the executive and legislature but because it's not the it's not in the hands of uh, um, uh, judiciary to exclude or include any uh, categories so that's, that's very well put actually categorization should be our debate thank you categorization should be our debate thank, thank you, you dilip thank you babita let me let me being the woman on the panel let me give you the last word please go ahead ma'am uh, is may ek jo reservation hai wo sirf uh, social economic ya fir uh, jo educational backwardness hai usi ke base par nahi hona chahiye jaise economic weaker section wala lagu kiya jiska koi base nahi tha us pe bhi ek debate hona chahiye dusra ek gender uh, jo justice hai us pe bhi baat honi chahiye jab state pcs jo hai usme uh, girls jo hai usko reservation diya jata hai abhi parliament mein reservation bill pass kiya gaya hai lekin bureaucracy jo hai ya judiciary jo hai usme girls ke liye reservation nahi hai so women jo participation hai wo kaise jo hai wo sunishchit hoga is par bhi baat karni chahiye taaki ek social justice ki jo hai wo baat ki ja sake ji bilkul i think that is the hame bade perspective mein dekhna that is the right note to end this discussion can i say one thing yes that you know the idea i mean it can also be argued that if you have reservation for scheduled caste scheduled tribes if you have reservations for obcs then why not women but the idea should be to encourage merit. I think you make a broader base and encourage merit. 
and of course i stand corrected on the 20% it's 10% All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Geeta Luthra, Mr. Like Mahesh, Yashwardhan exactly. Azad, Saurav, Babita and Dilip. I wish you all three of you a lot of luck and we hope that you achieve what you are aspiring for. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching.